Hey, what's going on guys? It is CH, head janitor here at Homebrew for Life in Bragetown, USA. Today we are going to Hop Highway, but it's not going to be a brewery. We are going to go to a distillery. Let's check it out. We are 117 West Spirits, a uh, distillery in Vista, California, and um, we make uh, gin, rum, spice Ooh, drum. But like, who are you? Like, oh, like us individually. Owners, okay. Like, who are you guys? I, I, us is a collective, the proverbial we. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me. <laughs> I'm Archie Cast, and I'm I'm from San Diego, California. I live in Point Loma. I'm a teacher at Dana Middle School, and I'm a good friend of Justin's. And I'm proud to be part of 117 West Spirits. I'm Justin McCabe. I um, grew up in Santa Barbara, went to UC San Diego, and uh, live in Oceanside, California with my wife and daughter. And uh, yeah, Archie and our partner Eric and I all started this up a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, we're happy to be open and making product. Um, I've been homebrewing for like 20 years and uh, just looked at the brewing world uh, and the number of breweries in San Diego. I didn't want to move to open a brewery um, and fell in love with the idea of making spirits, making whiskey, and uh, using craft beer as the inspiration for making whiskey. Five, yeah, five years. I have not been a distiller ever. I'm just learning from <laughs> currently with Justin. Um, I'm more of his uh, assistant more when it comes to the distilling process, but um, I have just started doing that with him since we've opened here six months ago, and it's a lot of fun. I've been teaching math for 23 years, so, and I still currently teach math. Um, I'm just kind of doing this as a side project to transition from being a teacher to becoming a full-time uh, distillery owner. Um, and uh, I mean, 23 years of teaching is a pretty long gig, and I think I'm ready to try something different. Um, I teach high school chemistry, and um, now I've uh, dialed back to part time. So, do like an every other day kind of deal of uh, work teaching. Uh, and then when I'm not teaching, I'm here making spirits. Uh, well, <laughs> since I just signed a contract for another year at my school with the same uh, commitment. Uh, it'll be at least another year before I would go full time here, um, but you know <laughs> we're still trying to figure out the right strategy moving forward how we want to do it. Does the same apply for you? No, I've got about five more years of teaching, and I then I'm going to be uh, eligible for retirement. So then I'm going to still keep going with the teaching thing for about five more years. So uh, moral of the story: if you want to make money, don't open a distillery. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the, I think the biggest delay was basically getting the whole through the whole construction process. Uh, we got delayed through permitting um, because distilleries are a pretty unique use. Um, the cities don't really know what to do with you in some regards. Um, they basically treated us like a brewery, but some things we were doing that didn't really apply. Um, and uh, it was just kind of a delay on every aspect, uh, design with architects, you know, design for the mechanical engineering, plumbing. Uh, and then when we finally started the build out, after like three months of waiting for our plans to get approved, um, it was August. And <laughs> it was, it only took two months to do the build out really, right? I mean, it, it really didn't really take that long. It was getting to the build out. And uh, then, um, you know, all that meanwhile, and this still came down in July, we had it here. It was ready before that, but we were, there was no reason to bring it until we were ready to do the build out. And it was just delay after delay when it came to uh, basically the design part of it and to make sure that the city would approve our use um, in terms of, you know, the um, actual permitting of the space. Well, we have, you know, we have a Groupon out there, uh, word of mouth mostly, you know, kind of like how I found out about most of my favorite breweries. I found out by word of mouth. My friends tell me, oh, you got to go try this beer at this particular brewery and then that kind of spreads pretty rapidly. I think that hopefully our the word's going to spread just based upon how good our spirit is. Two friends telling two friends and so on and so on might hopefully mushroom. You know how these things start. One guy tells another guy something and then he tells two friends and they tell two friends and they tell their friends and so on 
and so on and so on. See, there's the math teacher. Yeah, Exponential math. math. <laughs> <laughs> Word of mouth has been way more effective than paid advertisement. No. No. We can, we can sell out of the tasting room. We can sell three bottles per person per day. Um, and we can sell you know, a co one cocktail out of the, the tasting room one per day. And, and brand recognition. I mean, I, there's also concerns for us of you know getting stuck in the corner, and you know they basically have the brands they promote and they sell, and then they'll take us and say, okay, well, yeah, we'll put that palette in the corner, and you know then we never get another order from them, or they don't even try and push it because again, it's like unless they're really trying to be active to promote and sell our product, which they don't have a lot of reason to be, um, unless there's a lot of demand. Um, it's not, it's not going to move. And then we're trying to produce a lot of product that we're taking a hit on by selling it to them. <laughs> and then we might go out of business because uh, they're basically not willing to support our smaller industry. Severson. Yeah. He's so basically working with a lot and all, nearly all, I think of the, the San Diego County distillers and as a member of our distillers guild. Um, and, uh, is, is you know providing a great service for us in terms of he's trying to just get into the distribution world himself and he realizes that he needs to start small as well and really wants to focus on only craft products. Well, K and B, K and B, right? K and B wine cellars, yeah, yeah. Longitude. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> our stills, our still was also built on the same longitude in Washington State. Whiskey. The whiskey. Whiskey. That's the next big move. Sell whiskey. Sell whiskey. <laughs> yeah. um, our whiskey is going to be coming out in. Um, when is that? I'm sorry. Yeah, whiskey is going to be coming out in the summer. So we'll have a summer release of our whiskey. We actually have a rye that we just. We're just getting our labels approved right now. It's kind of our first run. Most of that will go to our members. Um, we do have a little membership club here, but I think many people are thirsty for our whiskey. I think that'll take us to the next level, just so we can meet the demand of those types of customers. Because when people come in, they love our gin, they love our rum, but most of them say, oh, but I prefer whiskey, I drink whiskey. And, oh, don't worry, we're gonna have whiskey for you here soon. But of course, we don't wanna serve any product until it's ready, so. Justin. <laughs> and Bill, Bill. Bill Rogers. Bill Rogers. I want to thank Bill Rogers. Bill Rogers yeah. from Liberty College of Spirits. That guy's been a, a huge help to us. Um, I also want to thank my wife <laughs> because she's been a huge part of, of working here in the distillery too. She's given countless hours. She's mm -hmm. a CPA and she's been running all of our numbers and doing all our bookkeeping and, and keeping our taxes paid so we can stay keep our doors open. <laughs> Yeah. On a numbers front too, so a big and, shout out. Yeah, my wife Paige has been doing a lot of events here, organizing events, and uh, those have brought in money, which has been great. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for her, because she was the one that really pushed me. She's like, "You got to do it. This is your dream. You want to own a distillery? You know, you've got friends that are going to support you. You you just need to make the move, and I'll be behind you." 117 West Spirits, all of them. 117 West Spirits, all of them. 117 West Spirits? Yeah, 117 we're at, at 117 yeah, West Spirits. At 117WestSpirits.com. Yeah. We're at, at 117 West Spirits, and we are on 117 West Spirits on Facebook as well, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a cut. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Right on. All right. I want to get one shot of you guys. Just stay where you are.